Okay, take a look at a few puzzles. Let's have a look at what we've got. So, best move for black. So instantly, eyes are drawn to this because of the two on one. Gaining of material. That looks basic. But the thing is, the bishop is going to be on the rook and also on the knight. Problem they do have is the rook can simply come here and x-ray through to an unprotected rook. So I, in my heart is saying I don't think it's that because of that simple. Right, so the bishop can take but the rook can defend but the queen can take the rook. The knight can't move. So in essence, it's like a mate threat. So the rook is going to have to take. So that looks like it's uh, improving. But still, hmm. Bishop comes here, the knight can't move. The rook could come here to defend the square. So that's another out. So that might be a bit of a waste of a move. Rook can take this pawn to be on here as well. But if it did do that, the pawn would simply just take the bishop. Hmm. Has the queen got anything else? Definitely not doing that. Bishop takes. Rook doesn't have to take, can sit here quite nicely, can't it? In fact, the queen could come back and, well, no, it can't it get taken. So the rook comes here. Bishop is there now. So then this rook can go up and attack that rook. If the rook takes... Yeah, if the rook takes, then you still can't take because the rook is on that line. Or is there something different? Bishop's here. No, no, can't see, can't see. All right, okay, let's, what's next? It's definitely not that. This gathers material, but it puts you in a bad position. Bishop takes, then the rook can simply come here, and it's x-raying. And it's a white square bishop. Rook can't move. There's no pressure on the king. So it most definitely isn't that. Takes the pawn. And I think we're agreed. I mean, if he takes, then the queen takes. He's still less in material. And has it really given him anything? Because now the king can move around, the queen can get back in. So it's probably not even that. What am I missing? I bet you this is so simple, but I just, I'm not seeing it. Right, stop overthinking. Obvious take. This queen's got no protection on. Rook could come and attack the queen because the queen is on this diagonal. But that doesn't mean a right lot, does it? Because the queen can go anywhere. And what's the rook doing? It's not going to attack there. The knight's protecting and the rook's protecting. Maybe there's a story with that at some point. Bishop takes. Rook comes across. Rook 
Rook attacks the queen. But I don't know. The queen can go anywhere, can't it? So that's not really forcing per se. That's just grabbing a pawn. But they do have a knight, two knights, two rooks, and a queen. And we've already got a queen, a bishop, and a rook. So we've got to be giving some devastation towards the king. I think we've worked out that this pawn doesn't really work, really. Bishop takes, rook takes, queen takes. No, that doesn't really work. Rook up, but that's not forcing. There's not nothing there, nothing there. Hmm. This might be the first one I've been stuck on since I've started doing the puzzles. And I bet you it's simple. The queen is right in front of the king. Hmm. Must be a fancy way of getting their queen, mustn't there? Rook, 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 rook. Am I missing a simple checkmate? I really don't think I am, though. This is what the human brain does when you're playing chess, especially over the board. You, and, you know, and you, visit, you can't do these arrows type thing over the board, so you, you're mentally trying to picture it. And then, weirdly, it... It fits together a jigsaw in your brain that goes, oh, that'll work. But you really haven't meshed the jigsaw together properly. You've just got tired of doing the same thing. Like I keep going back to this here, trying to make it work. And then when you come to your calculation, it's a little bit jumbled up with all of the thoughts that you've had. So you really have to have a clear thought of calculation when you're actually making your move rather than that rather than a jumbled mesh of what you think is the right move it usually isn't because it's like muddled up with all sorts of thoughts that you've had so i am thinking that this is the move but i'm going to throw that move away because of the negative aspect of it because the rook takes the queen takes so what? I've won a queen for a bishop. Only other thing I can think from doing that manoeuvre. Yeah, so the queen is here. But then that's our last move. So it's not their move next. We go here. The rook goes here. Queen goes here. So they could do anything. They could stop this rook from taking this pawn. Queen could come back and attack the queen. Rook could come and attack the queen. So there's kind of too many variables. My brain is going, yes, once you've done all that, the rook is going to be here, the queen is going to be here, and then that's going to be like a checkmate. But they do have pieces that can defend that. There, there, there. Simple pawn push if they're awake. Queen can't put another check on because the knight's guarding. That doesn't look too clear cut to me, so there's got to be something else. So it might not be a checkmate type of game, then, might it? It might be a material gathering thing. And I'm thinking the material gathering is the queen. But at this moment, I can't really see the rhythm of it other than this, but that's not really much. Mm, fancy. 
Or if they did take and then went here like that, we don't have to take. Is there something else? No, nope, because it's got no support on it whatsoever. Too slow, because where is it going? <coughs> Excuse me. Wow. Oh, do you know? Gee, wow, it's good to think, isn't it? I think it's this, because this gives this mate fret. Oh, come on, it was that simple. I'm sure it's that. So the rook comes up. I suppose you can get a check on the king with the queen. Yep, do some sort of um, stalling checks on the king. But then that's it. It doesn't have any other checks on. Could come here. But then obviously the queen can take it off the board. So it's definitely that. It's that. Oh, that looks easy when you... <laughs> when you find out. Oh, shocking. We had to get rid of a lot of rubbish. Cracky, yeah, so definitely that, and if, if the rook comes there, then the queen can take, etc. Let's go with that. Yes, and, the, oh, it's going for the queen. Do we take the queen, or do we go, we'll go for the checkmate. What are you on about? Oh, you can't do that yet, because he's got us in check. So do we actually take the queen? So it's one of those exercises where you, you're winning a major piece then, isn't it? I don't want to lose out here. It looks pretty obvious to me because the queen is not. <sighs> nice one. Yeah, I'll give that one a tick. We got there in the end. And if we hadn't overcalculated the thing, we probably would have found it quicker. But it, this is not a speed rush. This is definitely not that. This is, really does help me to try and get a better understanding of calculation and pattern recognition. So I'll take as long as I want to take trying to do these puzzles. So I'll give that a tick. Okay. Are we jumping on to the next one? That one really did hurt my brain. You know, I was like, whew, take a little bit of a break, but let's power through. Uh, best move for white. So readjust where we're at. Best move for white. The king. It's got like a two on one. It's got a protection here with the um, bishop. Is there a checkmate coming? Yeah, well, there's a check on our king with the pawn. So if we're greedy munched with the rook, then the queen comes and puts a check. And then it's like repetitive. So I think we need to try and avoid doing that. Could move the king up. That seems a little bit blah. Any checks on the king? Bishop's got a check on the king. King takes. Don't have to take, obviously. Knight comes here with a check on the king. King can go down. We do have a white square bishop. But it can't get to it. And the bishop is protecting the knight. So the rook is not going to get across. So I don't think it's that. But we have to stop the repetition. So... 
If we move the bishop, it takes the pawn here. If we move the knight and attack the queen, he still takes the pawn with a check, gets the knight. I think it is a check on the king somehow. Check here. Doesn't have to take, but let's see, he does take. It's just he has this escape square here. Up we go. Then he's here. No, that, that that's probably a bit too arty, is that dude? That's probably a bit too arty. Bishop, no, forks and stuff. What is it that they want to do? Is it that again, like the queen has got no protection on it? Is there something? I'm not seeing that. King up, protect him. Uh, it's definitely not a rook sacrifice, is it? Bishop takes, bishop takes. What's that going to gain? That doesn't gain anything. Knight taking. That really doesn't gain anything because he's getting this. Prevention is better than cure. Maybe. No, we can't do that either. Actually, if the bishop did block, if he did push down for a fork, no, we can't because the bishop is protecting. What is the story? Bishop's got no protection either. So is there something else there? But he's got this repetition, so we don't want that. King moves up. You wouldn't have thought a pattern recognition would have a simple king move like this, blocking the pawn, well, protecting the pawn. So I don't think it's that. I don't think it's that. Knight takes because I've got a two on one. But it means nothing because he can still just get the repetition. Is it a repetition, right? Takes. Have to come back. He comes back. Have to go up. Then he goes up. Oh, there's nothing that can block it. So it is a repetition. Hmm. The only forcing move that makes them do something is this bishop attacking the king. We've got to bear in mind as well, we don't even have a queen. They're the only one with a queen. So that's the only... I think, forcing manoeuvre in this game. Because the king has to react to it. The queen itself, there's nothing that really can trouble it without it then going for repetition for a draw. So we hit the king. We need to break this one down. We've already broken it down, but there it comes here. So there must be a different move to what the knight... Oh, me, oh, we get the queen. Idiot. So if the king takes, then the knight comes here with a fork on the king and the queen. Ay, 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 ay. So that's that scenario. But if they move, because they can move here, they can move there, they can move here. Is that a checky matey type thing? Not really, because it can go here. So, okay, that's the start of it. Yeah, that's the ideal position. They actually take the bishop, and then the knight comes here, gets a fork on the queen. But if they don't do that, and they go, let's go with the scenario here, they go here. Rook comes here, then that's like checkmate, because he can't come back again. If he goes here, rook goes here, and he can't come back again. So the only safe square is here. And if he goes there, this is the bit of an issue. If he goes there, 
then the king can come here. All right, so what happens if he comes there? Our bishop is here. Because it could, in theory, make its way down as far as here. And I suppose the knight would be able to put a check if, if that happened. Right, yeah, so that's the only danger. Oh, he can't go back there. What am I on about? There's only two squares he can go here or here, and those are checkmate positions. Let's do it. And he does take, and we get the queen. Uh, carry on. Okay, let's take it. <laughs> oh, fantastic. We'll give that one a thumbs up as well. We got there in the end. Yeah, it's good to talk. Right, this will be the last one for today because I'm um, using up my brain cells here and I do not like these pawn endings. Nobody likes these. Okay, find the best move for black. Oh, you got to get the timing, tempo right and everything. Instantly, I'm just thinking push this pawn here, but I think it's a king move because these pawns aren't linked up to try and get our king across here, taking these pawns off, or taking this pawn off rather, and push it up. So I think it's this, stops the king. If he pushes the pawn down, we can come here. We push up, if he goes back, then we push up. So it's giving him something to think about. Yeah, he may come across just to um, try and stop that. So if he goes across, then we can come here and then take the pawn. The thing with these pawn ending type things is why I don't like them is that you, you could do several manoeuvres that still give you a little bit of an advantage as a human. But the computer what would, what would want to see the most perfect move out of all of these moves that you could potentially think of. Me as a human, I'd go here. Is there any benefits to him moving down? We move up. He moves down. We capture. He can't go any further. He comes across. We come there. He's not getting our pawn, so he pushes this pawn down. Can't push that, so he's pushing it once. We capture. Pushes his pawn again. Yeah, I'd say it's just this move, but these pawn endings, I don't know. I'm not too sure if um, I'm going to make the right move. That feel to me is a confident move because it's getting my king readiness to take off pawns left, right and centre. Doing any of this fancy business here gives him that opportunity to block down and now a king's not getting here. So I'm plumping for this. I'm daring to do it, but it's probably going to be wrong. Let me just think, because we've we've not even done a lot of thinking on this one. It's just, I just think it's this. No messing. It's not even this, because obviously he pushes here. But even then, that's what I'm saying. You could do that. And you're still, to me, Black is still winning. Because his king is always singing to our tune. So he could go here. He drops his pawn. We come across. He comes around. But that looks uglier because he's come around and he's blocked us from actually getting to this square. Whereas this gets us to that square no matter what. Yeah, so he can go backwards if he wants to. He could drop the pawn down if he wants to. But we're still getting to this square. Let's go for it. Tick. And option to go here, I don't, there's no speed in these pawns, but let's just break it down. So we go here to attack this pawn so that then we get our passer and push up. So we go there. Does he physically push this pawn down? We take. 
He brings his king down to support that. Or in fact, maybe he brings his... No, he can't bring his king there. Let's break this down. Sometimes there's rhythms that then win, but uh, I don't really see it. I can't see it from this position. So we go there. Say he drops the pawn. We take... Not going to drop there. Brings his king down. No, maybe he brings his king here. Just to block our king from moving to the side. But then if he does that, we can move our king across, attacking yet another pawn. And then if he wants to block this pawn coming through, we can just push, push, push. So that makes sense to me. I don't think there's any strength with what he's got here we've got two linked pawns we should be fast enough and success Whew. that'll be it for today